funny thing is, is that this is my second time recording there. The first recording had so much zingers, I cannot comprehend how funny I was in that exact moment. And I can't replicate it. I can never hope to replicate that. Uh, my mic. Mm, what's that called? The box that you connect the XLR microphone. An audio interface. It's, yeah, it was turned off. So the red, the red button, this red button, you see how it's turning green? So that ruined my whole mood. So anyway, my dress up darling, like it. Thought I was never gonna watch it. I thought I was gonna put my priorities straight and watch the godsend anime that is Attack on Titan with damn near perfect ratings. Second in my anime list or something. But instead I watched the cringiest thing I ever fucking thought possible, which was a show I deemed in my head as the fan service of all fan services, more so than High School DxD. I take that back. Yeah, no, that is a wrong assessment of the anime. But I thought it was up there alongside the likes of High School DxD. And I was right. I'm not wrong in my assessment. I thought what it was. And I was right in what it was. Wise sayings. So it doesn't suffer from the same sappiness. The anime's not even done yet, so I can't even make a full review on it. But it doesn't suffer from the same sappiness that Horimiya does. Which is just like the law of, or, or like Newton's second law, first law, all these other laws, the laws of thermodynamics. You, you know they're a fucking fact. It cannot be debunked. Same thing how the Newton's law of gravity, yeah, cannot be debunked. Romance cannot be debunked in Hori Mia. It's so cringe. I mean, I like it, but I also don't like it because it's really cringe. Because it's, it's more so... Ugh, I, I love you. Oh, man. Really? You like me? I like you, too. Ugh, nothing can go wrong, can it? No, if You're right. <laughs> not like that. It's not like a Romeo and Juliet Shakespearean uh, drama. But it is where you cannot fuck up in that world. Literally every single one in that world. Dog, cat, rat anything has a counterpart to themselves they're probably gonna end up in a relationship by some point in the manga my dress up darling has a clear focus on progression it knows that it's kind of like bunny girl senpai in which you know there it takes steps in the relationship and you can see it progress fast and and at a nice pace for a 12 episode anime it's not taking its fucking time we're setting up for season two where it's just like <gasps> he almost confessed in season two. No way. It's more so where it's just like, you know, the, the signs are already there by episode two, which is great. I love it. Um, I'm kind of pissed. I have not watched Attack on Titan, man. Attack on Titan. I haven't even watched like more than three episodes of Attack on Titan, but yet I caught up with my dress up darling in, in under an hour. Don't ask how that's possible. So yeah, my dress up darling was pretty good. I actually liked it. I was wrong about my dress up darling. But what I wasn't wrong about was a goddamn fan base in which you guys have no knowledge about what I thought about the fan base since you clearly don't live in my head, but I do know what I was going to say. So let me tell you either way. So the fucking fan base for this shit is cringe. It's cringe. Without a doubt, it's cringe. It's 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 bad. It's cringe. But I do find myself liking the post every single time they pop up on my TikTok feed, my YouTube shorts feed, my YouTube videos. I'll click on the video saying some clickbait title with Marin Marin Kirigawa or or I butchered it. Oh. <laughs> Boobies? Boobies? <sighs> oh, no way. She says what? It's kind of like those VTuber YouTube thumbnails and videos which just have the most clickbait title. You click on it and it's just them like purring in your ear. And then you whip out your... Yeah, it's a pretty good anime. I think you guys should watch it. it was, it's pretty enjoyable. I, th I do think it deserves its spot up there alongside the other ones. Uh, man, I can't, I can't make a full review by now. Oh! Fuck, I almost forgot about the goddamn fucking tropes it follows. Fuck, don't get it twisted, right? Just because it does not follow the fucking trope of being sappy romance, it still follows the same trope as any fucking other 
romance in which there is multiple love interests but the, the first love interest is the goddamn winner and you know it is you know she's the winner you know she's gonna win but they had another they got, they got another one which is perfectly viable you love her just as much as the first one if not more but yeah you know she's gonna fucking lose so they just add this unnecessary fucking drama they do that shit too i'm gonna fucking lose it so uh, yeah you should just like and subscribe please thank you